Hey, gang. Welcome to the Are You Garbage Comedy Podcast. Please make sure you subscribe. That way you get the episodes as they come out. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey! everybody out there and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast this is are you garbage it's a little show we sit down with your favorite comedians and we find out if they grew up to be classy or if they're just a big old piece of shit i'm your host h foley coming at you on a beautiful spring afternoon i'm down here at aunt Tootie's basement she's gone for the weekend where's she at where do you think AC, what's she doing? AC, she's down there. At playing the tables, probably. Down, shaking them up. Hopped on the bus. She somehow got the casino bus to pick her up in front of the house. She's flexing on all the other people. I don't know how she does it. Yeah. Um, my co-host is coming at you <laughs> from across the table. This is a family episode. Uh-huh. Just me and the old Kipperino. He's the CEO of Are You Garbage? He writes the checks. He breaks the necks. Give it up for my best pal, Kevin James Ryan. Hey, thanks for tuning in, everybody. Happy to fucking be here. Just got some good news that I want to get into. What's that? Just what happened? The text. Wait a minute. Let me see. What could it be uh, that we're doing the, the big weigh in for for my Patreon weight loss run? That's one thing for the listeners. Uh, if First of all, let's get a little a couple, little bit of business. If uh, Please make sure you rate, you subscribe on iTunes. Why wouldn't you? Full video available on YouTube. And as you know, those numbers are <laughs> true to roof. True to roof. That roof's burning. Oh, I mean, we're going to we're gonna, we're gonna have to get a Polish roofer in here. <laughs> Take care of it. What's it gonna do? I don't know. They're, they tend to be roofers. Put it upside down. I used to down. work for a Russian roofer. I don't know. <laughs> Okay. Uh, and then on the Patreon, guys, you sign up for the Patreon.com slash Are You Garbage. You get bonus episodes of AYG. You get uh, episodes of Hard Feelings, which is me and a big man chopping it up. Fucking runaway hit, baby. That's We have more $10 members than $5 members. I like it. That's fucking. That says something about the content on that over Patreon. You're like baby. fucking Frank Purdue. You create a value in the marketplace. Yeah. Okay. You give them quality product uh-huh. at an affordable price. Yeah. And they come running. Who's Frank Purdue? Frank, what? What are you, a bozo? Frank Purdue. Chicken. Oh, Purdue okay. chicken. I, I, didn't, I don't know the man personally. <laughs> that's, a, that's, that's a top-notch chicken outfit. He used to do the understand. commercials in the 80s, unless that was an actor. Oh, Couldn't yeah. Have been. Oh, was, and then his son's Jim. Yeah. I'm something a Jim like guy. Oh, okay. I'm a, yeah, I know Jim. He looks like a chicken. I'm old school, Frank. Yeah. <laughs> and he used iodine over everything. <laughs> That's how we did it in the 80s. Uh, yeah, you can sign up for it, and then we do a live stream every month uh, with our top-tier patrons. It's a good fucking time. And then, this just in, the, the the gauntlet was thrown down on an episode of Hard Feelings. We're doing an H. Foley weight loss challenge over there on a Patreon. That's right. I'm about to lift 500 bucks off these two losers. The deal is... And Easy and clean. It's all going to be covered on the Patreon. We're going to do weigh-ins and everything. We're doing that right after this. So I'm going to have to frisk you to make sure you don't have any fucking dumbbells in your cargo pants or anything. <laughs> <laughs> fucking t- people fucking loaded, playing with loaded dice over here. <laughs> two cats jump out of my shirt. <laughs> 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 Um, I think the D we settled on, you'll get 500 bucks for 28 pounds 28, in 30 days. 28 pounds in 30 day <laughs> challenge. That's how we're doing. We're going old school radio in here. We said 20 and Foley was like, no way, too easy. First of all, I said, I said 20 at a thousand bucks and he goes, no way, 28, 500. I go, yeah, okay, whatever. And let me tell you something. <laughs> I've come to a conclusion. I haven't figured it out yet. It's like taking broccoli off a fat guy. But I'm going to spoil. Nothing on <laughs> <laughs> Why would a fat guy have broccoli? Yeah, candy from Ew. a baby. Yeah, they don't um, have whatever. Listen. What? Wait, is that what the saying comes from? Like taking candy from a baby? It's easy. It's also easy to take broccoli from you. You're giving it up. But the baby wants the candy. The fat guy wouldn't want the broccoli. Anyway, that's Making neither here nor even there. Even easier to take. Whatever. I'm taking five hundo from you. Bottom line. Wait, I'm not giving up any money. We already said that. I don't have to give up anything. I don't lose five hundred. I can only gain five hundred. Yeah. You can also look at it beneficially. Like, I can lose 28 pounds. I'm, listen, I'm gonna. And that's what I was about to say is I'm splitting the money with one of the fans. Oh, we're yep. taking this radio DJ. Yes, we Call are. Call in now. We got a I haven't figured out me. how, but someone's going to be sitting well, it's on. It's got to be a Patreon. Someone's going to be sitting on $250. We can. Damn, that's fucking. That was. I mean, he's going rogue. Yep. 
And H. Foley had a marketing over here. And if he if he makes it through the month and he does it, double or nothing the next, next month. month. Yeah, I think that's what we're doing. Maybe not double. No, we're doing, we're doing 500 me, 500 from you, dude. Yeah, but for another 28 pounds. I'm going to own this dump in a couple of weeks. Yeah. We're well, making some changes to the programming. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> cutting some you dead can't, cutting You can't even, Yeah, you better start with, start with you. You can't even show up on time. Be cutting some dead weight around here. First thing I do is fire myself. <laughs> <laughs> You're just looking in the mirror. Sorry, big man. I got to do it. <laughs> hey, Dubby, Dubby, you're coming up to works over here. <laughs> I can only, I got to go to the board. I can only argue so much. So much that one man can do. So that's what we got going on. That's going to be I'm very excited. I'm very excited. I want you to turn over a fucking new leaf. I'm doing the same thing. I've been running the every fucking day this week. I'm fucking trying to eat right, laying off the booze. I'm fucking feeling good. I got chip and putt tomorrow at 11. <laughs> Me and Kat. Me, some me sort of new salsa <laughs> event. <laughs> <laughs> you show up with your own bag of Tostitos. Where's, where's the dip at? Uh, so I've been doing that. I did that last Friday. I'm doing that tomorrow. But now after the weigh in, it's that'll get twenty. It, that'll get twenty eight pounds off in a month. Chip and butt once a month. <laughs> I can't wait to see the look on your two face when you're handing. Over I would that be money. ecstatic. Good. I'm gonna be. Well, get ready to be excited. Thrilled. Go buy your sparklers now. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Listen. If you lose 28 pounds, that just means this fucking show goes on for another 18 months, okay? <laughs> I'm, I'm investing in my own future here. Save you a couple of bucks on Lipitor every month, huh? <laughs> this kid's Ooh, paying my medical bills. Yeah. So you have that, and then we have the other the other big announcement. I just, was, I just got the fucking text. As T-Bone presses record, I get a text. Yo. This is great. Third show in Chicago. Three. Sold the fuck out. Sold them out. Shout Thank you. out to fucking Chicago. Thank you. We shit on you a lot, Chicago, but we love you. Oh, man. Three fucking sold out shows. So by the time you hear this, that fourth show, fourth and final, I looked at the <laughs> schedule. There ain't no other fucking show we can do. Who are you, Celine Dion? Unless we start doing final. Nooners, okay? Which I ain't doing. <laughs> I ain't fucking doing a brunch show, okay, jerk I, offs? I will. Uh, so the fourth show will be Tuesday, I believe, the 23rd. Third or twenty? I don't know. Tuesday. Wait, they're adding it, or that's it? I just got the word. It's up. Jesus. I talked Christ. to the guys on the coast too. They said, "Have at it. If you can do four, do four. Oh, shout out to the if boys. If we don't on sell the it coast. out, I'm, I'm pulling the plug. By the way, I, I ain't doing three sold out and one halfy. All right, I'm pulling the fuck. I'm calling a bomb threat. One's friends and family. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> One's a tune-up game. Come on, come grab tickets, Chicago. Thank you so fucking show. much, Chicago. We love you. Thank also, you. Also, the same week of Chicago, there's going to be a fuck. We're going to be in Indy, so it's going to go Chicago two shows. Drive to Indy, do Indy, Indy. Come the fuck out. Yeah, let's go, Back man. What the fuck? Chicago you're showing you're embarrassing you up. us, Indy. Chicago embarrassing showing us. you up. Uh, and then two more in Chicago. Thank you so fucking much. And Atlantic City second show out of there. Get those fucking tickets, June eighteenth. Please, now, we appreciate it. We love you. To business. Well, that was the business. To the real business. Well, you know, you're the garbaggio. Forgetting. What's his dust? Forgetting our producer extraordinaire. <sighs> He's a good kid, Kippy. He's good a good kid. Kid. Good, kid. good kid. He's the magic man. He's my comedy buddy. We go around. We do fucking spots together. Mm -hmm. Listen to the listen to listen to tapes and bits and work on jokes with each You've other. You've never recorded a set ever in the history of your comedy career. I hate the sound of my voice. T Bone McMuffin. Toby McMullen, everybody. What's up, dudes? He What's up, buddy? Oh, my, my life's falling apart. <laughs> <laughs> the kid's tanking over here. We had a nice FaceTime last night, though, didn't we? This fucking idiot. What are you yelling at? That was a fun, funny thing for you. <laughs> this bozo yeah. FaceTimes me and and Kippy. Kippy doesn't pick up because he's a smart guy. No, I was sleeping. I, had a, I, had a, I was up at 5 o'clock yesterday. I was fucking out. Sleeping? Yeah, I was up at 5 o'clock. Look at you. You're like a farmer. That was like 11 o'clock. Yeah, was, I just said I was up at 5 o'clock. And I, I Dude, you take two naps a day. I got I to gotta figure out my phone calls with you because yeah, if, if it's 11 to 1230, he's out. 3 to 5, out. And he knows it. He, that's why he's laughing. He knows it. I answered the phone and, fo and fo uh, my, the FaceTime pops up. First of all, his camera's not on somehow. He, he FaceTimed me without activating his camera. I go, hello? And he goes, what's this? Like a 90-year-old woman. He goes, is this a FaceTime? And I was like, you called me. He goes, no, I didn't. The phone's in my hand. He pocket dialed us from his hand. Oh, I know. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. got to see the key cat, though. I say hi to the kitty cat. Toby's uh, little key cat. Don't, don't talk like that. Little stank. Shut up. Is there any, is there any, is it garbage to take naps? Is that trashy? Yeah, man, you should accomplish that. Listen, I work 
way I do more way more stuff than you and I don't take naps. Sure, I don't do feel lot. I don't feel like, oh, I've worked enough today that I can take a nap. Really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no way. You gotta stay fresh though. Well, you're not. You're as stale as they get, dude. As stale Make as croutons <laughs> out of this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Jesus Christ. Throw you in a microwave for a couple of seconds. Loosen you up a bit. Ew, did you do that? What? That's tough look. Any any bread product in the microwave, my mom used See how to try to pivots real quick. My mom used to, well, we're just Patreon.com for the weight loss challenge. I'm gonna be fucking tightening the screws on this fat bastard. <laughs> I'm gonna be over there with a whistle blowing. Like, Get up, fatty! One nap a day. And in, and please, only positive encouragement. Yes, yes. Honestly, no, too. negative. I want negative. <laughs> no, I'll take care of that. I'll take care of that. That's got I wanna hear you can't do it, you'll never make it, you're a loser. Also, hold on, pin pin for a second. I want to shout out to our fans. A lot of podcasts get all negative. A lot of radio shows that get a lot of negative. Everybody shitting on you guys. The, our listeners are the nicest, the best, fuck, the most supportive, the nicest. That's why on we Patreon, love you on YouTube, iTunes, wherever it is. You're fucking fantastic. I love you. This water's ice cold, by the way. Yeah, I Screaming. I, was gonna I feel like I'm it. testifying. I love it. <laughs> this thing's great. Feel Don't like- be loading up on water weight either. All right, one <laughs> bottle per <laughs> app. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna come back. To, you're gonna come back like you jumped out of a pool. Anyway, as we were discussing, my mom used to try to get away with fucking pulling frozen hot dog buns out of the freezer and uh. throwing them in the microwave for a couple of seconds mm-hmm. while the dogs were on the grill. Yeah, no bueno, yeah. señorita. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hit the fucking bricks. Yeah. with that. Keep it moving, honey. Yeah, no Denise, the niece's niece's known for that too a little bit. And I tell you, as these broads get older, they leave stuff in the freezer. That's from like when I used to live there. I come back, I'm like, you still got this loaf of bread? <laughs> Fuck, we doing? It's beefsteak. Hit this fucking two ninety nine. Get it out of here. Yo, I got a little AYG question for the two of you bozos. Do you perfect place to say it, T Bone? <laughs> Please go right ahead. Our door is always open. <laughs> Best customer service in the biz. <laughs> What can I do for you today, young man? Do you currently have a bread box? <laughs> what am I, a witch? No, I have a fucking <laughs> bread box. Yeah, no. Um, that was T-Bone. Was it? Yeah. Fucking that was me guy. texting T-Bone. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> talk about a production scuffle. We're broadcasting here. Um, bread box, no. Um, no, we don't have one. We we don't keep bread in the house. I I don't do bread. My wife is gluten free, so we don't keep bread in the house. She's a real stick in the mud when it comes to Man, when it comes to gluten when free. it comes to snacks and stuff. <sighs> no snacks. Maybe some cashews. I'd be calling ice on her. Get her. Get like her back on some the- peanuts if I'm lucky. <laughs> Which is good because I'm an animal. <laughs> Some pig trying to make a, you trying to make bread out of peanuts. <laughs> I'm mushing it together. <laughs> you ever have gluten free pasta? It's like eating shoelaces. <laughs> uh, they do pretty good now because it's you can get like the rice ones or whatever. I don't no, know. what's it called? Uh, quinoa pasta ain't too shabby. Quinoa's are yeah. not bad. It's got a little bite to it. You got to cook it al dente. We do the zoodles, the zucchini. Zoodles, That's what they're called. <laughs> I think. Sounds like something I did in college. <laughs> once. I did it once. Is that your roommate? <laughs> Zoodles. <laughs> get over here. You got him in a headlock, giving him a noogie. Zoodle, I get shit. <laughs> you come back all tuned up from a frat party. <laughs> He's doing his fucking trigonometry homework. <laughs> Zoodles. Ooh. No bread boxes. Yeah. Um, but I respect them. They were old school. They had a classy. You don't have one now, do you? Oh, yeah. Why would you? What's That's it, weird. Did it come with the apartment? No. You guys went out and bought a bread box? No, I ordered it on Amazon. Where am I going to keep my bread in the cabinet like a fucking scumbag? You put it on top of the fridge God, like a gentleman. Yeah, this guy. I got a kitty cat. He's going to fucking get in there. And uh, I, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Yeah, little, little stank always going for the whatever. <laughs> at Foley's house, it's just him and his cat ripping a bag. <laughs> I hide in the Amazon boxes. Um, I deserve better. Yeah. All right. Let's fucking let's shift gears. Let's get it's, okay. it's a fucking family episode. So as you know, we um we go we ask your questions on Patreon. When you sign up for Patreon, we'll answer your garbage questions, either with me and me and a big man or me and a guest, us and a guest. Uh and we, I Big Man doesn't like me saying this, but there is a fucking backlog. The fish are jumping on the boat. So we're working through them. Give us some fucking time. We're getting to everybody. Uh, but this comment came in on YouTube, which is... I knew you wanted it. It was a comment. It was a comment on YouTube, which we get like, oh, my dad did this, my uncle did this, and I'm always like, ah, me too, you can relate, whatever, or, you know. Some of them are wacky. This one, 
This one's some. This was a first in a, in a hundred and some episodes we've had. I've read every. I read and respond to almost every comment. This one was. This is from a guy named Duke. I don't think he is a Duke, Duke. but uh, he goes. Hold on, is Duke? Can Duke be a first name, or is that's always a nickname? Nobody's named Duke. Duke. I mean, once you hear what his parents do, it might. Be, uh, hey, Duke's not short for nothing, I'm, I'm right? I'm surprised his name's not Nukem. <laughs> 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 that guy had a hey, bad chainsaw, attitude, huh? get over here. Um, all right, he goes, my folks have a customized van with a giant net on the back that they use to hunt Bigfoot, which is a term, which is really them just driving around a mountain getting drunk on Keystone Light and Fireball. Now, could you imagine if your parents hu- actually hunted Bigfoot to the point where they had a modified vehicle that they drove around? Plus, they're driving around hammered. They get pulled over. They can toss that cop in the net. <laughs> Better luck next year, copper. I don't get it. And listen, hunting Bigfoot's trash. Now, my aunt and uncle, they hunt the abominable snowman, which is class. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> they're scientific people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got skis and everything. <laughs> yeah. Wait. They're wait. not some fucking <laughs> hillbillies driving around the foot of a mountain. <laughs> Wait a minute. I don't know. I'm caught up in the the technicals of the trap itself. Why does putting a net on the back of the van? How do you what do you, what do you lure Bigfoot in the van with? Maybe it shoots the with net. Beef jerky or something. <laughs> I don't know. What is that? That commercial steak on the side. Johnny Trail had a piss off Sasquatch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't get that. No, they bring him in with a fireball. Squatch likes to party, dude. <laughs> <laughs> he just got a six or they're shaking. Hey, she'll do the both of us, huh? He gets what in there. I mean, if your parents are earnestly, if you come from people who are earnestly hunting Bigfoot, you're doomed. You're and doomed. if they're doing it drunk, they're pretty unprofessional. <laughs> <laughs> or very professional. It depends how you look at it. You know? Ah, uh, it's tough. That's look. a fucking tough look. I just wanted to shout that. That was a mind blower. Although, their parents- more and more. They're starting to say that there's a really good possibility that there is something out there, especially in the Pacific Northwest, that there could be a creature known as Bigfoot. It's just you. Lost on a camping trip? I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's Foley. He's taking his second nap of the day. Send that to the writer's room. Let the boys <laughs> punch that up a little bit. <laughs> um, all right. Let's switch gears. Let's get into some of the Patreon questions. Please. And a couple of home runs. This one from Joshua. Ever been on America's Funniest Home Videos? <laughs> Remember watching America's Funniest Videos, home videos. Shout out to Saget. That guy could host a fucking program, by the way. Everybody was staying up on Sunday to watch that. Oh, him. man, watching that. No matter what we were doing in the Foley household, when it fucking hit 8 o'clock, we were running to the TV. Nothing, dude, nothing's funnier than like the guy, the, the neighbor getting hit in the nuts with a rake or whatever. <laughs> yeah. You show me an American dad that doesn't appreciate someone taking one of the nards, <laughs> <laughs> and I'll show you a Soviet spy, all right? That's good, clean American fun oh, right there. nothing better. Yeah, that was a fucking great program. <laughs> Did you ever know anybody on it? I remember they would, like, send it in. I'd be like, Mom, can we send it in? Then I'm like, we don't even have a fucking video camera. I felt like even to- in the 90s, the tapes were 20 years old. Well, yeah, they were, I mean. You know? Yeah. And I feel like when I watch it now, the tapes are from the 90s. There's not really cell phone footage on there. You're watching it now? Where are you watching I've it? Skimmed Twilight through Zone? it? I've skimmed through it a couple of times. I've caught it on hey, different Hey, buddy, stations. have you ever heard of YouTube? It's not It's not Saget. It's the other guy, Tom Bergeron. Oh, that yeah, guy's like take fucking... Take a hike, <laughs> it's like, bozo. Dude, talk about vanilla pudding. Oh, that guy man, stinks. that guy stinks. <laughs> it's like, now it's Carlton, though. It is Carlton. Who, I mean... Carlton stinks, too. I'll be yeah. the first one to say it. The fact that we're Take a hike. He's no saggot. <laughs> the fact that we're referring to him as fucking Carlton. Yeah. Which tells you everything you need to know Haven't about you him. made enough money? Beat it, bozo. We, you're gumming up the works. Do your little <laughs> dance at home in front of your kids or something. <laughs> Wait, I, I have a question. How many pornos do you think were accidentally submitted to <laughs> oh, America's Funny yeah. Some Videos? Man, the guy doing the production team on that was fuck. He probably had a stash going on. <laughs> Couple head of, stash. Couple of Taking these home with me. <laughs> hey, these are no good. <laughs> <laughs> Tracking on them's all bad. Um, now there's there, there's two levels to getting on 
funny song videos. They're sending a tape, but never. And I don't know where they got the families that actually showed up. Remember, they'd have like the Coopers sitting over there. Oh, the mom yeah. was always wearing like a Mormon dress, and she had like weird. She was always like very light, flowing, like layered kind yeah. of. Yeah, like a tight neck on it. Dude, is that under any? Looks circumstance- like she should be churning butter or something. <laughs> Probably had something nice underneath there. Ooh. Huh? She was always a little victim. Is that old school? Does that old school like hosiery turn you on? What do you mean? You know, if they like lift, it's like the girdle with the. It's like thick. It's like cotton. But cotton. I, that's like yeah, not like, not like the sexy. Do I like hosiery. fishnets and and no. the? Who and the, the what, you got a pee pee? Of course <laughs> you like fishnets with the fucking. Come yeah. on, I'm just saying that old school. Not too, not too much. Like 70s, 80s. No, no get out of here 50s. with that. No, Something like a girdle. No, anything like with something the, from the a league of their own. No, <laughs> <laughs> like the pointy cups or something. No. Those things, <laughs> fucking round. <laughs> take the fucking belt sounder, <laughs> belt sander around them things. They couldn't even make Madonna look hot in that uh, movie. Yeah, right, You're killing me over you here. Gotta fucking try pretty hard not to make Madonna <laughs> look like a fucking three. Kid was a race car back then. <laughs> in <laughs> 90s Madonna. Yeah. Good night. Oh. Oh, man, oh, I she was, was six with my little stinger <laughs> of watching that. Hey, Ma, can we can we watch a league of their own again? <laughs> you want to watch the Phillies? Nope. This kid just won't stop watching like a prayer. I don't know what it is. Kid likes the song. Um, that was a weird situation. Being on fucking uh, America's Funniest Home Videos. Oh yeah, that squad. They were like fake would you, would you, Yeah, that's what I'm saying. There's no way we didn't have a tape record. And I was also being like. How, what wackos are just filming this stuff all the time? No, thank you. <laughs> Fucking goober yeah. families. The video recorder came around once every in a great while. Like the dad I, that had that always had his shirt tucked in. Like he had his like, sh- you know, he had like a dress shirt. like a. And he was usually up to something. He yeah. was caught doing something years zooming later. In some, zooming in on something. Yeah. Yeah, Never yeah, trusted yeah. a dad with a fucking camcorder. I remember an uncle showed up one time to like a Thanksgiving or oh, something. Dude, we, no. our, dude, my family acted like the mob. <laughs> like the fuck, like we were the mob and the news just walked in. <laughs> no, fuck you. Get the fuck out of here. What the fuck? You? No pictures. No pictures. Hey, J. Edgar Hoover. Fuck <laughs> he, yeah, they were like, no fucking thank you. <laughs> he was fucked, dude. Now, performance He was labeled as a snitch in the 90s real quick <laughs> fucking shout out <laughs> found him in the trunk of a car in front of macamanco's yeah i remember dude i remember like we all walked outside and they were like what the fuck's his deal in there fucking say say something for the camera <laughs> hit the brick <laughs> <laughs> hey you see these rocks fucking kick them <laughs> a performance is different that's when the video camera got broken out. If somebody was doing you something. Had, you guys had, you were a video camera family? I mean, I really wasn't, but my cousins were. Like, I can remember, like, you know, my cousins doing some things and, like, you know, her dad would, like, would, would, would film it. You know the what I mean? The big guy. Huh? The, cha- the Channel 6 guy. The one on the. Yeah, but, like, something like that. But we never really broke it out around the house while we were getting all boozed up and fucking, you know, get out of here. Some people are bam. We started, yeah. We, <laughs> <laughs> just in jackass. <laughs> It's a goddamn christening, for Christ's sake. You start punching your dad. (laughs) I got to go to work, I don't get that shit. I feel like the Foley's were still using shoulder-mounted VHS in the DVD era. Yeah, they probably... If I... if. (laughs) <laughs> I guarantee if your mom probably wouldn't even use her cell phone they to would, film something. My, the, she would dust never. off some fucking no. some old RCA type thing. She ain't filming shit. She'll no. take a she'll take a picture. Does That's she saw it. the camera or she do her phone? Huh? Is she like a phone or she got she bust out like a disposable camera? But now we ain't <laughs> winding that thing up. <laughs> she got one of those old school ones, throws the hood over. No, she uses no. She first of all, she doesn't take pictures. <laughs> I like she doesn't it. know how to no use witnesses. She doesn't know how to use this this iPhone she has. She doesn't know how to use it to such a degree. It's amazing she knows how to answer it. I swear to God. Yeah. But for a while, right before cell phones with cameras started taking off, yeah, she had the little little square jaw that everybody had. Mm-hmm. You know, the, zoomed out and. Eh. You never looked at the pictures. No. Did you ever have a uncle or something go plug the VHS camera straight into the TV to try and show the video? Oh, uh, yeah. And then yeah. it's just like four minutes of footage of him like accidentally filming himself. Being like, how the fuck does this thing work? Yeah, <laughs> just, yeah, yeah. No yeah. editing. Uh-huh. Just pure, the, watching the dailies. Sh- yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's all fucking shaky and shit. Yeah, this yeah, This will be yeah. good after a little color correction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how about we do a first pass on this, okay? <laughs> Not looking for the final <laughs> cup, but at least a f- something. Yeah, it's trash, man. Um, what a great, 
great <sighs> question. Man, America's Funniest Videos. Garbage. Hey, gang, quick word from our new sponsor, HelloFresh. With HelloFresh, you get fresh, pre-measured, and mouth-watering recipes delivered right to your door, baby. Skip the grocery store altogether and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. Big man, that's why it's America's number one meal kit. You don't got to sell me on it, baby. They they got me hook, line, and sinker. Not number two, not number three, number four, number five, number one. HelloFresh cuts out stressful meal planning and grocery store trips um, so you can get to cooking and enjoy it. Get dinner on the table in about 30 minutes or less. Try meals ready in 20 minutes or less, lightning prep recipes, and quick breakfast, lunches, and snacks. Perfect for your busy schedule. They sent me and the big man each a big box of stuff. Big man, what do you got? I was a little skeptical at first. Yeah. I go downstairs. There's this box down there. I bring it up. Everything's packed to perfection. Ice cold. We they sent shrimp, they sent pork, they sent chicken. So first order of business that night, uh, my girl whips up uh, Cajun shrimp. Mm-hmm. All right, over top of kale Ooh. with crispy sweet potatoes. Yeah, and like this, like yogurt sauce on top. Dude, I'm listening. It was unbelievable. You got the low calorie option. It was fantastic. Yeah, pretty yeah. good. Guys, Great so product. go to HelloFresh.com slash Garbage12 and use our promo code Garbage12 to get 12 free meals, including free shipping. It's, nuts. it's really worth meals. it. It's really, especially if you're like, on, honestly, if you're on the go, if you're by yourself, dude, it, she had it ready in 20 minutes. Yeah. It was fresh. It's it a lot fantastic. of food, too. You get a lot of food oh, for dude, it. Oh, yeah. dude, they, they don't skimp. Yeah. So we got two meals out of it. One more time, get the ho- hel- go to HelloFresh.com slash Garbage12 and use our promo code Garbage12. For 12 free meals, baby. That's what we're doing. Check it out. Gang, after years of fine print contract and getting ripped off by those big wireless providers. Bozos. If we've learned anything, it's that there's always a catch. Mm-hmm. Am I right, Kippy? They get you coming and going. Those they get you big coming and going. So when the gang over here first heard about Mint Mobile's offer for premium wireless service starting at 15 bucks a month, we were like, eh, there's got to be something behind it. Here it is. Nope. There ain't. It's all legit. There isn't a catch when it comes to Mint Mobile. Mint Mobile's secret sauce is that they're the first company to sell wireless service online by cutting out retail stores. There's no crazy overhead. There's no crazy cost. And anything that they save is being passed on down to you. Oh, baby. Straight to the consumer. Oh, yeah. Honestly, uh, my wife has been using uh, Mint Mobile for like two or three years now. You told me. Uh, when she was traveling here for, uh, from Europe, we needed a, a cell phone for her, and we didn't want to get you know the big contracts or anything. Yeah, you don't want to get locked in. They Things lock might not work out. Yeah, they handcuff you for like two, three years. So we got Mint Mobile, and she just kept renewing it, and it's perfect. 15 bucks a month. Crazy. All the internet you need, calls, texts, whatever you need, it's easy peasy. For people looking for extra savings, Mint Mobile's offers premium wireless that's just 15 bucks a month. It'd be stupid to pass it up. And if you're not 100% satisfied with Mint Mobile, they have you covered with their seven-day money-back guarantee. You don't like it? Don't matter. Get your money back. Good night. You know what I mean, big man? And even if it's 15 bucks, what do you, you know what I mean? I'm missing out on anything. No contract. No. Yeah, nothing. you use your same phone, your same phone number, whatever you need. It's easy peasy to make the switch. Uh, to get your new wireless plan for fifteen. For just 15 bucks a month uh, and get the plan shipped straight to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com slash garbage. One more time, baby, mintmobile.com slash garbage. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month with mintmobile.com slash garbage. Do it. Gang, we all shop online. Oh, yeah. And we've seen the promo code area yeah. just sitting there. And if you ain't got one. You feel like a real dork. Yeah, man. You know what I mean? Bozo Central. About to pay full price like a shucker. Yeah. All right. Uh, but thanks to Honey, manually searching for coupons on the internet is going to be a thing of the past. Honey is the free shopping tool that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best ones it finds to your cart. All right. Honey supports over 30,000 stores online. They range from sites that have tech and gaming products to popular fashion products, even food delivery. Yeah, they got it all, baby. Imagine you're shopping, you know, imagine you're shopping for one of your favorite sites. Anywhere when you check out, the Honey button drops down. All you have to do is click apply coupons and they do all the work for you. It's crazy. It's easy peasy. No more. You know, I feel like an idiot. I go to like Google and go like I used to go to like Google and go like blah, 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 blah dot com promo code. 
and you feel like an idiot. Then you get one. It doesn't work. Honey does all that for you. When we were building the studio, me and T-Bone were buying stuff on Amazon like crazy. Just using, we were online finding this, finding that. Threw it through the Honey thing. Talk about wetting our beaks. Clean living. Saving a couple of bucks. Ain't nothing wrong with it. I'm telling you, it's free money. Check it out. I think we the lights, I think we got a discount on. Uh, some of the tchotchkes in the back we got discounts on. Tripods, too. Tripod. I forgot about the tripods. Um, Honey has over 17 million members and that have saved over $2 billion. Jesus. Savings. Billion would it be? That's serious. Key. Yeah. So if you don't already have it's honey, Kardashian money. If you don't already have honey, you're missing out. That's the end of it. It's literally free. Installs in a few seconds onto your browser, and by getting it, you'll be doing yourself a solid and supporting this podcast. Yes. If you get it, you support us. If you like us, you don't want to join a Patreon. You don't want to do this, buy a T-shirt, whatever. You can support us easy peasy just by shopping. There you go. You know what I mean? I never recommend something I don't use. My wife is huge on it. Get honey for free. Uh, at joinhoney.com slash garbage. One more time, guys. Write it down. Type it in. Joinhoney.com slash garbage. Now back to, to the, the show. show. Um, all right, let's see. This is from Chris. It just says soda with breakfast, question <laughs> mark. Which, listen, it's trashy. It is trashy. Soda is not a breakfast drink. Disagree. I, I do like it. No, it's trash. It's good. I don't think so. I do, what do you mean you don't think so? I would like it's to present not, my argument. Please. Because there's no fact that says, listen, we do it. But there's no factual information that says it's not part of a balanced breakfast. I'll tell you that much. Okay. Allow me to sure. respond. There is no difference between a cup of coffee and a carbonated cola beverage. There sure is. No, there's not. Yes. No, there's not. If in you what put, sense? If you put cream and sugar in your coffee, that's the same as having a soda, which I do not condone, despite... My size. But a Diet Coke with an omelet, nothing wrong with it. That's it's just tr- as no, good no, as trash. having a cup of coffee. Also, you shouldn't know because you're a bite and sip. So you don't bite and sip with the coffee. You bite and sip with the soda. I bite and sip with coffee all the time. With hot coffee? Yeah. An omelet? Yeah. I don't think so. You're, I you're do. saying no, no way. No, I, I do. I've, been, I've eaten 10,000 meals with you. I've never seen it. I, well, okay? first of all, I don't get hot coffee. I'm not a fucking nine-year woman. I get an iced coffee. Like yeah, so, that, so that, that's, that, that conversation is mute. You're, that argument is mute. So what's the difference between having an iced coffee and a diet soda? Nothing. I still bite and sip on both. Sure, I understand. There is a difference between a... A bite and sip with a hot coffee, though. You have to give me that. Caffeine content alone. What? Caffeine content alone. I think there's more in Diet Coke than there is in coffee. 34 milligrams in Diet Coke, 95 milligrams in coffee. Jesus Christ. That's weird because a Diet Coke usually hits me harder than regular coffee. Um, Shit whacks you out. Well, you drink more of it than coffee, typically. True. You know what I mean? You get a two tree refills if it's they're freebies. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it is. You got free I, refills at the at the airport on Diet Coke. I, yeah. Remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was stunned by that. Um, well, the first one was nine fifty, so they might as well <laughs> fucking... They already hit me over the head for three of them. Uh, no, but in no place, no commercials for breakfast. Whenever it's an Eggo commercial, a fucking English muffin commercial, a fucking cereal commercial, the tray's coming in. There's never a glass of fucking screaming cold DC on there, okay? Milk, juice, anything like that. That's what it is, okay? <laughs> Coffee, milk, juice, that's a breakfast drink. Fanta, part of a balanced breakfast. <laughs> yeah, get the fuck out of here. You got orange mouth and shit. <laughs> it's trash, and it is kind of psychopathic behavior, but I like it. Yeah, I like it too. Over the pandemic when I was cooking every, I was cooking breakfast every morning, Screamer. I'd sit down with a fucking screaming cold Coke Zero. <laughs> Good not. Talk about kicking things off. Yeah, dude. Holy shit. Um, but it's trash. Okay. I'm glad you rolled over on that one. Appreciate that. That's what I do. <laughs> the old rollover. Um, this one's just, I don't even get, this is from Geronimo. In case it's not been done already, uh, ever use a fire engine to water your lawn? What the fuck? <laughs> I don't fucking know. What, what, are, you, a fire what are you, a firefighter? <laughs> how the fuck did you get that thing to come out the water? And how big's the lawn? Must have had a busy weekend, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I don't get that. That's fucking Ever nuts. use a fire? I think we filled our pool one time with it. What? I, Where'd you get it? What do you mean? I got it at the mall. What do you mean? Where do you think we got it? The fi- I think the fire department at one point was like in charge of it. No. 
No, that I costs money. Because yeah, I call, my, I remember it costs money. Okay, because my mom always complains about how, how do you much fill it, yours? The sink, our pool, yeah, the oh. hose. Did it take fifteen years? Takes a couple of days. Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big pool too, by the way. Huge. Yeah, but she always complains about that at the beginning of the year because her water bill skyrockets when we fill the pool. They ain't doing that for free. No, I remember. I think we, I remember it was like we had to pay for them to come out, and they turned like we used their hose, and they hooked up to the fucking. I think they hooked up to the hydrant. That thing was built in like 15 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> I was waiting there with my swimmies on. Ready to fucking die. It was cold <laughs> as ice, dude. I remember that. Woo! Man, it was like all. Dude, that shit's coming from Middle Earth. There was a polar bear fucking <laughs> doing backflips in that thing. Man, you let that water run, run long enough in the summer, so that shit gets hard to <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of that thing. Yeah. Like hooked up the pole in spring or something. I don't know what's up. That shit's great. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then this is also in the same vein. This is a tag on question, which we've talked about. Hey, our, our pool's real cold for the first couple of weeks anyway. Because our pool, she only has to fill up like three quarters, or she only has to fill up she like a. lets the rain do the rest. <laughs> she only, call for rain next week. She only fills up like a quarter of the pool because the pool stays filled through the whole year. We don't empty, we don't drain our pool. It just has a cover on it and has chemicals in it so it doesn't freeze. Yeah, so she just adds a little bit more water, shocks it, throws the chlorine in there, cleans it all out or whatever it is, and then we go. So that water at the bottom of that pool. Has been in there. That's what they use for the vaccine. <laughs> <laughs> go get some gunk from the Foley's. <laughs> No, it's been in there all winter, and you can tell winter God, water. Dude, I, I did you? Did you see my hand just do that? That was that was. Uh, I literally got the fucking heat. Dude, babies. it's it's ice cold. It's like fucking cryo fucking treatment. Oh. Find the Lakers in there. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> fucking Walt didn't he, his head's floating there. Ice um, cold. Did I ever tell you the story? Me and my buddy, me and shout out to my boy Pat. We got drunk in college, and at home, like it had like in the summer one night. And we were going back to his. We were at a house party, and we like walked through the woods, and we got stuck in a. Fi- it was like five in the morning, four in the morning. We got stuck in a thing of sticker bushes, like to the point, dude. He fell, and I'm like, dude, we were just, we, you were just getting cut. Like it looked like, it looked like we got attacked by fucking werewolves, and we're bleeding all over the place. And I'm, we get to the point where we're like, it got slightly getting worse and worse. And then we were just stuck for where we couldn't move or you couldn't stop because you would just be fucking hemmed up. So you had to keep fucking pushing through. And he fell, man, and he's go. I'm like, I'll pull you up. He goes, don't eat it. So I pull him. He goes, ah! And he's, he's go. He's so fucked up. He's going, just leave me, man. Just fucking save yourself, dude. Go get help. <laughs> leave me. And I'm like, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> dude, he finally, we get out of it, dude. And we get, he's like, we get back. And we're like, we hug when we get out. We're crying. We're in tears. You're just a couple of real tough guys. Dude, somewhere. we're just in pain. It looks like we fought. Like, dude, it's just slices everywhere. <laughs> Now, now we're starting to swell up and stuff because it's like so much trauma to the skin. Just because it's like it was, we had thousands of fucking cuts all over us. So we get back to his pool. And we're like, I just want to jump in the pool and clean everything out. Uh. We don't know his dad shocked the pool before he went to bed. <laughs> Dude, I fucking swan dove in, and we immediately both come up in tears. <laughs> Dude, his dad woke up from us screaming, crying in the backyard. He's like, what the fuck are you idiots doing? It's two grown men fucking laying back there bloody and crying. He's like, what the fuck are you assholes doing? Oh, man. <laughs> My dude, I that was a story. My mom's like, what the fuck happened to your arms and legs? I'm like, to tell her I got stuck in the woods as a grown man is a tough look. You lost me at picker bush, <laughs> sucking <laughs> pussies. <laughs> Tell you what, back in the day. A couple of thorn bushes, they get no. you. <laughs> I get it. Dude, talk, that's the definition of hemmed up. Man, going through trails, woods trails when you were a kid, if somebody was ahead of you and they would catch a branch of pickies uh-huh. and then it would swing back and just whoosh. Yeah. Oh, my God. You felt like you were forging the Amazon Holy back in the day. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Brutal. This one's from Dylan to tag on to your pool because you are an above ground pool kind of family. Yes, we are. Um, above ground pools and microwave hot. And we've bars. talked about this. Ever make a whirlpool in an above ground pool? Which is the highest benefit of the above ground pool? Is the whirlpool? Would you like to know something? What? Mine's so big. It can't. I was thinking that when I read that question today. And you have an oval too. You're not a straight circle. It's got to be tough for you to get momentum going. 
But the one we had in Wilkesbury, you could. And let me tell you something. We got that thing cooking. Fucking drown the Kraken in that thing. Yeah. Thing was hot. It's like an at-home lazy river. <laughs> How do you do it? You just get a couple of boys, couple of buddies, couple of homies, and you swim in the same direction for like a couple of minutes, and that gets all the water just swirling around. And if like you get it moving quick enough with a, if you had a couple of older kids, they can really get it fucking oh, yeah. cooking. The, the Throw older, in a float or two, and then you and then have, have some, some. You literally like can't swim the opposite way. You're just like kind of swimming in place. And then grab an older cousin on the fucking uh, on like the the the, the floaty to start the doing this. Board. If you had, and then you got some waves going. Yeah. Now you got the perfect storm. You're playing George Clooney. Yeah, it's like the it's like getting caught in the inlet. You're getting it from every angle. Yeah, it's great. An undertow. There is nothing good about an above ground pool. I, I, You're crazy. I bet. Get yourself in a whirlpool as a seven year old. That's a good fucking time. That is a good fucking time. Yeah. And I am an anti. I am anti above ground pool. But that's clean living in the summertime as a kid. Nothing wrong. I wouldn't mind one right now. To be honest with you, a couple of fucking butt heavies <laughs> cruising around. <laughs> <laughs> Throw the fills on. Let's do it. Yeah. Um, all right. This one's from comment deleted. Are there any windows in your house propped up with a household item? Like it just falls and you have to prop it open. Not at my parents. No, not, not at Don't act like they're like the fucking the keystone of fucking. They got the windows. They, they have windows. Last time I was there, you were missing a wall. They were in con- middle of construction. Sure. It's fraud. It's all really. <laughs> it's all done now. It's all nice. Looks great. Yeah. Fantastic. Oh, I'm glad that the drywall's not exposed anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it looks no, great. No, it still is. Let's put a little knickknacks on the inside. <laughs> and a metal studs. Nice. Hide weed in there. It's nice. Um, no, nothing like that. My apartment that I lived in with my boy, uh, I was oh, living in. yeah. His, no, in New York. In my first apartment, when I moved up here, that window was broken forever, and we used to smoke inside, and you used to have to prop it open with a plastic Snapple bottle, mm-hmm. and that Snapple Ooh. bottle stayed there for, I'm talking, the five years I lived there, that was the same Snapple bottle. Was it filled? No, it was empty. Was it Raspberry Diet? It was, wasn't You've it? You've definitely propped open that window with that bottle. I think it was a Raspberry caught Diet. caught a couple of Bernies back yeah. in the day. If you're propping a window, no shot there's a screen in it. No, you need to put your hand out there to ash like a gentleman. Smoking inside, man, really hits different. It's crazy. Yeah. You uh, feel uh, really like get woozy. We have a buddy that just bought an apartment in New York, and I go over there late night to have a couple of beers, and we can smoke Bernie's in his apartment. It's crazy. Real nice. This guy plays by his own rules. This guy's bonkers. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, all right, this one's from Lil Homie. Know anyone with an eye patch? <laughs> <laughs> An eye patch says a lot about, or, you know, it leaves a lot open for interpretation. You catch a guy with an eye patch. I've had to wear them periodically. Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> now, scratching my, if I scratch my eye with my contacts, but nobody that wore one steadily now. Really fucks up your depth perception. I bought one one time as a kid at a Rite Aid. Well, you know why the pirates wore them? It wasn't because they were, I was fucked up. They kept one eye covered so that when they walked down into the, into the ship, they could switch they over could fl- and they, see they light. They could flip it up and they could see. Ah, that's pretty. So good. they could see quickly. Man, you ever get hemmed up in the bathroom in the middle of the night when you turn the lights on? <laughs> Feels like someone just threw a flashbang in there. <laughs> I can't see <laughs> shit, dude. That's a fucking. You flip the lights on too fast and you're not ready. It's like putting your head in a vice. <laughs> I, w- I I once saw a guy pull a glass eye out. And throw it into a cup during a game of beer pong. What? <laughs> no Man, shit. the people you fucking associate with Dude. are grade A dirtballs. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> it was fucking nuts. Take his keys for the weekend, will you? Oh, man. He's get, st- T-Bone has the homies coming out. And I was uh, like, dude, I cannot wait. How many see. How many people are coming? 11? 11 homies got the got the news. And it was like, <laughs> we're going to be there. Not one <laughs> hotel room among them. <laughs> no, no, by the are. way. They are. Double tree. 11 homies and 15 DUIs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't ask any of them for any clean piss. I but, thought you uh, said they were all staying with you. Like four or five of them, probably. Ugh. God, a shower. It's going to smell like a bum's nutsack in that place. Dude. Um, Get the cat a hotel at least. You stretch out a little bit. These bozos coming in. Oh, yeah, he's going to be hiding. Uh, yeah, I would be, too. <laughs> I don't I don't blame the guy. So I'd the be na- in the bread box. So the neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> Got food and water. Shout out to him. Shout out to him. Oh, <laughs> man. Uh, um, 
He texted me. He's like, yeah, I got like 11 homies coming out, and they're exactly how Foley pictures them. Oh, man. I'd love to see the attire at that funeral. <laughs> not one not one decent suit among the bunch, I bet. Do you get a suit yet? Tomorrow. This He's going to have one on. I don't know. But I can see his he boys. shows up in a tuxedo t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I do have. There is one friend who is wearing like pants from my boy Kev oh. and then a shirt from my homie Tim. It's bad news. Ugh. <sighs> Good dude. Couple of bozos. You want to know what his name is? Bozo. <laughs> Goober. Yams. Oh, great. Dude, Yams is coming. What's up, bro? Yeah. You know why we call him Yams? One night he kick flipped a yam. It was crazy. <laughs> he shreds. <laughs> this guy eats more sweet potatoes than Yo, anybody I listen, know. Listen, I don't like him. He stole my mom's wedding ring, but the kid can shred. <laughs> <laughs> Stole my mom's wedding. <laughs> Shout out to Yams, dude, dude. Dude, Yams is the only person I ever saw do that. Like, it, it, do that like sitcom move of paying a credit card bill with another credit card. Oh yeah, yeah. That's a bit. I've done that. No, I haven't. I've wanted to. I never had the extra credit card. Two hundred dollar credit limit. Get out of here. That's what you got two. I thought it was five. I'm oh, you're five. F- I'm, I'm two. Really? <laughs> you thought you had two this whole time? Wow. That's how. That's how not in charge of your finances you are. You thought you had my credit limit. <laughs> I knew one of us had bad credit. I just figured it was me. Oh, man. I drive a Kia. Shout out to the Kia, by the way. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, Toby said it best. Toby got in the car the other day, and he goes, this is a nice car if you've never had a nice car. I was like, yeah. exactly. <laughs> he goes, these are nice cars for people who don't have never had a nice car. Yeah, the Kia... The Kia name is tough. But they look pretty good. You got to admit, T-Bone, the Kia is nice. I got I got the fucking, I might as well have like a projector in that thing. I got a big flat screen on that bad boy. I, I wouldn't know. call it big. <laughs> you ever been to a Tesla? No. It still looks Russian. That's the only thing. It looks like a. So do you. <laughs> Hello. Um... <laughs> I open you up. There's just little Foley's inside. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be his trick for the weight loss challenge. <laughs> Couldn't breathe in there. Uh, yeah, it just looks like a Kia. It looks like a car from, like, another world or, like, an alternate universe. Do I always come back to comic books with you? Maybe. Um, all right, here, let's get back to the action. Shoot it. All right, this one's from Casey. Ever know, ever knows, uh, they just say ever. It's so funny that this mm-hmm. is their, this is how they ask them now. Ever know someone to propose via the Megatron at a stadium? <laughs> <laughs> the Jumbotron? First of all, getting on the Jumbotron Wait, as did a they kid. Write, did they write Megatron? They said Megatron. <laughs> <That's amazing. laughs> yeah, I guess I guess it is Jumbotron. That's so trashy. Yeah. It's definitely Jumbotron. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> do you ever know anybody married on a Transformer? Um, getting, I remember as a kid at like a Flyers game, getting on the Jumbotron was the height of fame, the height of success. Mm-hmm. If you could do something to get that on you. What Man, did you do? I was fucking bragging the next day at lunch. <laughs> I was recreating it. I was like, you get over here. So here's my dad. Here's my, I'm fucking. Anybody happen to catch it in the Capitals <laughs> game last night? Anybody see when the camera panned to section 218? Anybody? <laughs> see a fat kid eating a pretzel? <laughs> if you ever wind up on the Jumbotron, do yourself a favor. Look down the barrel of the camera. Don't they be the look bozo up. looking up. Yeah. Well, you want to see yourself. It's a once in a lifetime uh, opportunity. No. It's a real catch 22. <laughs> Be a professional. <laughs> well, if you don't see yourself on the Jumbotron, are you really on the Jumbotron? You can catch yourself later on the highlights. <laughs> Who knows you're going to make the highlights? You'll they make got, the no, highlights. No, no. Or listen, the rebroadcast. Listen, don't listen to these two fucking I hate people are, when the Who camera's over here succeed. and I, people are doing this. I want you to live your best life. No, listeners. you're if embarrassing you're, yourself. Stop it. If you're ever at a game and you get the chance to be on a fucking Jumbotron, Throw your peepers up to the Megatron and take a look at yourself. And who's this fucking dirtball kissing everybody's girlfriend? That's what I don't Those get. are set up. Are they? Yeah. No. No, I got on a kiss cam one time. Yeah, you kiss did? cams aren't set up, but when they go for the kiss and she says no or he says no, then he turns over to the other girl. Those are all set up. Our buddy, Connor, tried to get us to write those. So <clears throat> this was maybe like four or five years ago. Uh-huh. They realized these moments can go viral, that you can produce these jumbotron moments that'll then go viral for like the team okay they're just free advertising for the team so all they all started doing that so our buddy started working for the sixers 
we, we, we were like, we were writing sketches for that. Or like, he was like, hey, come up with like 10 ideas. I don't remember this. Yeah. And he was like, for, and you guys will come down and you'll be like the in house Jumbotron actors. I don't remember that at all. Yeah. And he was like, yeah. Is there so any money changed hands on this? Uh, we took a retainer. We did? No, 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 no. Came uh, home to the piece. Mom, I just hit the Optimus Prime time. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be on the Megatron. <laughs> Trans- Mom, <laughs> Transformers, <laughs> fat guys in disguise. Where's my foam finger? Uh, <laughs> I've got some work downtown. You open down up a briefcase, there's a foam finger, a pennant. <laughs> I need a foam finger and a footlong hot dog. No questions asked. Uh, yeah, so they, so that's those are all viral things of like the dance challenges and stuff like that where like the nerdy white guy just all of a sudden is the greatest dancer and whatever. <sighs> They're all scripted. I hate. So they go viral. All that shit about the fucking game, especially at baseball games when they do that fucking bullshit. Except for the fanatic when he's dancing on a dugout. That's class. <laughs> I mean, oh yeah, that's fucking. That's top notch right there. I mean, that big belly floating oh, around. You can't fucking. He's got like a gyro system in him or something. Can't buy that. Yeah. Nothing yeah, yeah. like the fanatic. Or I'll give you, I think it's in Milwaukee when the hot dogs chase each other around the stadium. Or the freeze is pretty good. What's the freeze? I, I don't know is what. That the guy that's super fast? Yeah, and he catches oh, everybody. Yeah. He fucking Smokes people. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> fucking leaves those dudes high and dry. Man, he'd hunt my fat ass down real <laughs> Man, quick. give you a three-week head start. <laughs> you still wouldn't get <laughs> You could be in the golf cart. That'd be starting the first inning. Oh, man, that's fucking... Anything. And I mean anything. Remotely. That revolves around the Jumbotron. Whether it's uh, in memoriam, it doesn't matter what it is. It's fucking trash. You know what? I get way too involved when they were like... Asking your girl to, to get married in public is fucking garbage. If more than, if more than you and your girlfriend... Or, okay, ready? If more than you and her father or whoever is her closest... Father. Family yeah. ordeal, I like it. Well, I'm just saying, usually ask permission. Did you? Yeah. You did. Mm-hmm. Gentlemen, I like that. Now, sometimes, obviously, situations arise where, you know, the old man's not in the picture. You know what I mean? So you, 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 don't, you don't do that. That's why you got to put on the Jumbotron so we can see it from heaven. <laughs> <laughs> Is this TV big enough? So we can, can see it. See this from, <laughs> so we can, can see, see it from, from jail. All the way up there? <laughs> so we can see it from the can is more like it. Or whatever fucking uh, trailer park he's living in in North Dakota. Now, if an engagement involves anybody but you and her, it's trash. Now, you can have the family come and have them, like, incognito. You know what I mean? Okay. But that's it. When you're getting too elaborate. Like, when you're involving the cops and shit like that. Remember that one video? You see that one where they, like, they, they cuffed the guy? Yeah. And she's like, get your hands off of him. Yeah. And he's like, will you marry me? It's like, yo, you fucking dork. First you of all, you're at, a, suck. you're at a Shell gas station. I know. What is all wrong? All hopped up on premium. Man. <laughs> I see a lot of people that shouldn't be getting married. <laughs> Why are you looking at me? Huh? Um, fuck, what was I going to say? Also, too, I get way too involved, at least as a kid. I haven't been to a game in, a, obviously, pandemic and everything, but I remember being so fucking hyped when they would, like, ask. I always wanted to be the guy they asked the, que- like, the trivia question to. Oh, you fucking and they loser. And they wanted to be like, and I, they would ask always some fucking bozo in the fifth row. It'd be like, who is the whatever? What? Where's, like, they would do, like, the three-card Monty with the pucks at the Flyers game, and you had to follow, like, the... W.B. Mason, whatever, logo to, to win free tickets or something. Shout out to W.B. Mason. Those guys are all over the place. I don't know how they're in business. I they're think they're fucking, trash. They're hemorrhaging fucking money in advertising. <laughs> no. But we're talking about them, Toby. Bleep up. Hmm. So they, uh, and he'd be like, and we'd be scream like, it's on the left. And you're like yelling the right answer. And like he gets it wrong. You're like, God damn it. You're all fucking mad. Oh, you are a trashy sports fan. Have you ever seen someone get booed at a sports game? Like a f- fan? No, like a like a like a player. Like like ever you ever been involved in like a like a full bore all, oh. stadium wide boo? Yeah. What? It's the best. Oh. Have you ever it- seen sports before? <laughs> <laughs> Who is this guy? <laughs> Fucking Skater Joe over here. <laughs> you kidding me? Um. Yeah. Phillies sure. boo everybody. Yeah. 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 Oh, sure. I forget. You guys are, like famous for that. Oh yeah. Boo everybody. And also check out Wing Bowl. Boo ourselves. If you're not, if you're not familiar. <laughs> I've s- Buddy, spent a couple of months there one night. <laughs> Dude, the wing bowl. Do you know what the wing bowl is? 
It's a racist <laughs> chicken wing eating contest. <laughs> That's what it was. <laughs> you can slice exactly. it any way you yeah, want. Yeah, whatever you, however you want to paint it. But it is. <laughs> so the wing bowl is a thing uh, in local Philadelphia legend. I don't know if they still do it anymore. Are your headphones unplugged or something? They keep coming undone. Yeah. Okay. Um, Why are you looking at me? You're the one stepping on them. I, I wasn't know. stepping on them. I was just looking at the ball of knot that it's wrapped up in. Well, you can fix it. I'm, I'm, I'm not a production guy here. On-air talent to my contract. Okay. Oh, you need talent to be a talent? Ooh, I owe. You hired me. Oh, it's going to reflect in your, <laughs> your fucking paycheck this month. God, sure. with, without a laugh, that was just incredibly rude. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Double backed on it. <laughs> um... <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Wing Bowl is a wing eating contest in Philadelphia. That like, there's months leading up to it, and they do it the night before the Super Bowl or the Friday before the Super Bowl, and it's mayhem. Like, pri- they do it at six a.m. So I, the one they don't year, do it anymore. First of all, oh uh, whatever. The one year I went, we started. T- we went down at midnight, and doors open at six a.m. Dude, I, like my friends are doing acid, mushroom. Like it's fucking. It's the biggest dirt ball. Every dirt ball in a tri-state area comes out to this thing. And I'm talking fights. That dude's eating dragon wings. <laughs> Dude, I'm talking fucking fist fights, booing, throwing change at Pete. Like, it's <laughs> chaos. It's nuts. Don't they do the anthem, though, before? Isn't it, don't they play the national anthem? Dude, I'm talking, there, there, would be, there was fist fights, and the cops, now the cops are in there because there's, there's poor security guards and the red, the red shirts ain't doing it. No. They, they're, it's chaos. The cops are in there, and the cops are punching. Dude, and they're just spraying pepper spray. Like, in of, in section 112, just fucking dousing everybody. It's crazy. But they followed up with a little blue cheese spread. Which is, <laughs> which is nice. I'm more of a ranch man myself. <laughs> you got any celery over here? <laughs> Throw a couple of carrots over here, will you? It's a fucking scene. Anything involving anything like, let's get this clear, is fucking garbage. If you get more than 30 people time. together in Philadelphia, they're throwing batteries. There's going to be a fight. Yeah, there's going to, yes, for sure. For sure. Trash. Yeah. The Jumbotron. Man, we used to do that. We used to do the Mummers. We used to do the fucking, the Wing Bowl. We were like, we've done every parade. Like, we were, we've ran into, every time when the Phillies won and the Eagles won, we ran to the fucking ride. We were like, real. Looking back, I'm like. Parades are a really tough look. Backpack full of beers, just like spraying them and screaming. Man. Man. Parades. If I could have my 20s back and early 30s. <laughs> Parades are trash. Um, all right. This one's a fucking HR home run. Yeah. Uh, this is for Braxton. Do you or does anyone in your family pronounce the L in the word tortilla or quesadilla or the J in jalapeno? <laughs> a, jalap- a jalapeno? Tortilla chips. Tortilla. I. Yeah. There's... I, for sure, my family's too big for this to not happen. I'm sure I've heard it, and there's like a hundred, there's like probably two hundred of us. There's definitely a couple uh, quesadillas, tortillas, quesadilla, tortillas for sure, tortilla <laughs> chips, tortilla for sure. Yeah, get the tortilla chips, man. Rest hers restaurant style tortilla chips. Good, the knockoff brand. <laughs> Go Tostito. If you're buying anything, maybe some of the new ones. The then Tostitos then... ones are too thin, though, the restaurant ones. And they're fucking like the size of Frisbees. It's like a bat wing. You got to break it's them apart. Big. You can't even get it in whatever yeah. receptacle you're dipping. It's like a fucking airplane wing. It's like, come on, man. <laughs> it's like a hang glider. I'm trying to get my salsa on. <laughs> That's why you always go. Scoops. Go with the scoops. Scoops. You got a nice bit. You got you to take care of them, though. You got to treat them like fucking a Fabergé egg. Because you, you got a bunch of broken scoops. You're dead in the water. Yeah. You need those things solid. Uh-huh. They're unbelievable. But then also the scoops, when you get to the bottom of the bag with the scoops, you got nothing. Nothing. With At least with the restaurant style, you get a half a chip, a quarter of a chip, or you do a little dip. Mm-hmm. You can't be. It's like a fingernail you're trying to pick up you salsa know, with. You know what's great is the it's really trashy, but finding a curled up fucking tortilla chip. Those are awesome. Make your own taco with those things. You can hang ten in oh. one of them things. Dude, that's like riding the rip curl. <laughs> really load up. Yeah. They're fucking up the tortilla chip. In 2021, we should have a genetically engineered chip that it comes out a certain way. And it should be 
And you think you're go- you're talking about genetic engineered chips? You think you're gonna lose twenty eight pounds in thirty days? Once I get this solved, yeah. <laughs> Once I crack this case, you would need to twirl. Ha- <laughs> he has to take his lab coat off to put his running shoes on. <laughs> you would need to. You need to twirl a part of it. It should always be that. So you way. have a lip. You're looking so you for have a lip. something. Yeah. All right. Well, because nine out of ten chips stink. You get that one good one. You know, you only get that one good one. Nice fresh thing of salsa. Good night. Man, you don't stand. A You're chance. crazy. You're crazy. Okay. Okay. And I'm splitting it with a fan. That's I forgot about that. That's nuts. Great. When'd you think of that? I don't know. You pro- this is what I think. You probably owe someone two fifty, and you're gonna make <laughs> you're gonna make them win the contest. <laughs> And the winner is my uncle, Steve. <laughs> the winner is my brother. Shout out to my brother, everybody. Shout out to Con Edison Energy for winning the 250. <laughs> Splitting the big fans over there, Con Edison. Ooh, ooh, shout, yeah. shout out to Bill Matrix, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Tammy at Spectrum Cable, you just won $250, and I got my cable turned back on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm splitting it with a fan. Um, this one's from Joe Millet, Mellet, Mallet. I don't know how trashy you are. I how like to Millet. pronounce it. I M E L L E T, Millet. I like Millet. Joe Millet. It's good. It's a good name. Solid name. Joe Millet. New Patreon that's you, member. That's the guy you call. Yeah. I, yeah. Who's Joe your... Millet will take care of you. Yeah. He's yeah. coming off the bench and he's going right into the penalty box. Yeah. <laughs> now he's Millet handling something. Hands. He's doing something around the house. He, he's your guy. Insurance guy. I, I was guy. leaning insurance. We I was use picturing Joe, like a pair of Dockers. We and, use Joe Millette. That's yeah. who we use. Oh, your insurance guy? Yeah. He, he got mom in a nice 401k. Joe yeah. Millette. Joe, Joe Millette. He sounds like a hockey player to me. No, I'll give you that a little bit. The 82 Rangers, talk. Joe Millette yeah. coming off the bench? Come on. He didn't even wear gloves. <laughs> <laughs> no teeth. <laughs> didn't use a stick. <laughs> uh, this is from Joey Millette. Mm-hmm. Uh, new Patreon member here. Yeah. Did anybody in your family ever own a portable handheld TV? Yes. My Aunt Kathy was big on them. Really? Yeah. I had one of those. I'm talking one of the little Sony ones that, like, when you look at it now, it looked like an iPhone. It was like a little Sony one, and it worked. It fucking, Yeah, they like, did work. It worked. Took it all the way to the front porch. <laughs> <laughs> you got cable hooked up to the side of it? No, nah, she would have it for like church and uh, like, like. She'd be watching in church. <laughs> well, she can't miss her stories, Kip. <laughs> Maybe not like actual proper mass, but if it was like somebody's like christening or graduation, and there was like a something bi- big, yeah, like the Phils were on or yeah, something. Yeah, the Phils were on game. or the Eagles were on or something like that. We had that just to fucking make sure we keep tabs. Yeah, that's it's for sporting events. It'd be weird if you were <laughs> watching the news on it or something. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Just seeing what was going on. Yeah. Um, um, we're gonna have to take those boogers off your pants before we weigh you. By the way, well, you know we're gonna have to weigh you naked too. You know what's, uh, you know what's, or at least in your undies. really trashy is there's been multiple times where a wedding or something coincided with a huge, huge Philadelphia and they roll the TV event. in. Like I mean, like Penn State, Ohio State, or something like that. And as soon as you get to the reception, all the guys fucking. <sighs> Right to the bar, yeah. fucking glued to the TV, mm-hmm. all standing fucking back. Yeah. Trash. Trash thing, but I get it. Uh, we had one. My stepdad was the king of having, like, cutting edge technology 10 years too late, mm-hmm. right? So, like, he shows up with, like, uh, he showed up with a with a handheld TV, literally, like, iPhone. Like, one of the ones like that? No, those things were super <laughs> trash. The cooler ones, the lunchbox thing? It's a brick they were, thing. They were like oddly long. Yeah, for some no way. Like the no. tube went really. He far had back. one like a handheld, and we'd like pull it up like a walkie-talkie kind of. Yeah, that's what I'm talking. But about. he would try to flex with it way too late. But yeah, look like like a year ago, take it out at a family party or something. We're like, Jesus Christ. Yeah, it, it only takes twelve D batteries. Yeah, exactly. Who's got batteries? Let me get him out of the remote. We're like, Jesus Christ, what are you doing? Fucking embarrassing me. No, they took the weird ones. What were the really, really big ones? The D's or the nine volts were the squares with the two little reciprocals. Like the nine volts, on? I'll give you because they were you put them in, in the fire alarm. Plus, Man, they, you want to fucking they lighten were, up a day, lick one of them. Yeah, they, they, were, <laughs> they were fun to stick on your tongue. That'll put that'll put some pep in your step. 
<laughs> Fuck a blue chew. Get one of them bad boys. Yeah. Those things are great. I remember we discovered that you could do that. Fucking get the little kids. Hey, come here. <laughs> I can put this. <laughs> no, I'm talking about the big Johns. The D's. Or the really big ones. No, is that what they were? These wait. These were the big circle cylinders. Or kind of it's like a set of brass knuckles, kind of. Yeah. Like what, are the, what are what are what are the, their A B C D? No, A's are the little guys. Yeah. You have you have triple A's. But then it went to D. I don't know what C's were. I think C's are just a regular like like once in the commercial like the Duracell battery. No, they're double A's. No, no, no. The, the bigger they're bigger ones. They were for like toys back in the day. The big Bunch D's is the one I'm talking about. Those things. When you needed one of those, good fucking luck. You had to go to Radio Shack and fucking three towns over. Nobody had those things. Yeah. Those huge ones. I don't know. This is all wonky to me. What is a D battery then? Yeah, it's a big bad- D battery was just what I thought a C battery was. That's what I'm saying. The D's are the really big ones. The ones that nobody ever had. You had like two of them in the drawer. That's it. And you always needed like seven of them. I don't know. It was always because we had a big track uh, when I was a kid. No, not these. Not these mamma jammas. No. That'll that'll power the house. No, the big boys right there. Two over. Yeah, yeah there you go. Yeah, the D. But that's the C's it. look the, the same as that. No, they're not. They're smaller. Okay. <laughs> Fucking pinhead. I'm telling you six times. Because we had a big track when I was a kid. A what? A big track. What's that? You don't know what a big track is? It was a programmable... Uh, like space vehicle. It was a toy, but you could program it, and hey, it would. Elon, relax, will you? <laughs> it would go like four feet, turn right, turn left again, and then it would like empty its its dump truck would w- would open. Big track they were called, and they took serious bad. Like you, you, you needed like forty D batteries to get this thing going for half an hour. Sounds like cutting edge te- technology. Back in this was a, probably. So it's probably Christmas 1981. All right. Well, that brings this up. This is this is from Nick, and this was big in my family. And it's a did you or any of your cousins or if you're a parent, do you do this now? Skip the step when putting stickers on your kids' Hot Wheels tracks. Do you remember that? That we were the bells and whistles never got assembled. We were my dad would put the make the thing functional. Then the stickers, the lights, the trinkets, they all went by the wayside. We were real meat and potatoes when it came to putting, when it came to stuff. Putting models together, putting G.I. Joe things together, Star Wars things together, stuff like that. Stickers were optional. <laughs> they never made and it. Not to mention stickers were usually ripped into first and those were getting slapped on a Put one on the dog or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They never made it on the Hot Wheels yeah. track. We, you know, we were terrible. I with- didn't have the steady hand as a kid to do that. <laughs> no way. I got fucking, yeah, I got peanut butter all over my fingers and shit. Fucking Parkinson's feet over here. That was no good. Dude, as a kid, nothing worse than a wrinkly sticker. Sticker wrinkle, yeah. can't get it out. And my dad was like, I just did this for an hour. I ain't putting the fucking stickers on, jerk off. Fucking have at it. Did you ever build models when you were a kid? No. <laughs> no. No. I remember somebody for, like, Christmas, an uncle, a cousin, somebody, some schmuck that wasn't that close to me gave me a fucking... Hey, somebody <laughs> fucked up at the factory. This thing ain't put together. Somebody, <laughs> somebody gave me, like, a paper plane... <laughs> book like how to make like proper sturdy paper plane so i'm like and it came with like thick paper i'm like i'll give this a shot for five fucking minutes meanwhile look who i looked over at somebody i was like yo rap get the fucking gift receipt for this thing this thing hey ma get the paperwork on this way <laughs> this thing's going the fuck back somebody find a fucking hobby lobby and drop me off on the way <laughs> Because this thing ain't fucking coming in the house. I know that much. Dude, hobby uh, stores were a tough look. It's kind of a toy store. You know yeah. what I mean? It was weird. Yeah, the guy working the front desk. Whack. Uh, talking about a fucking chest of the molester. Hit the, br- <laughs> <laughs> Hit the bricks, allied hobby, will you? I'm talking bald guy with ponytail. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Glasses. Probably had a hog on him, though. Oh. Uh, Dude, cause we, cause we were in the planes and shit like that when we were kids, and my brother especially what, got buying two seats. <laughs> Steep public standard. My brother got into fucking models for a little while. We're not talking Victoria's Secret. Either. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> We're talking Messerschmitt 109s. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking Virgin 202s. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. <laughs> hmm. That's so funny because I remember my one, my one buddy's dad had like a whole setup downstairs with like it like he was it was like an architect setup. But it was just for models. Like you had like the special light and the tweezers and all that stuff. Oh, is this where your dad goes to not get laid? <laughs> <laughs> fucking dork. But anyway, they were tough, man. But I was gonna ask you, their stickers. Do you know how you put stickers on models? You had to put them in water first. Too much for me. <laughs> yeah, dude. How the fuck is an eight year old supposed to fucking do that? Our planes came out all gunked up with glue and stuff. It never looked like anything remote on the fucking I did, on the package. I did get into rockets for like a two, three week period. Johnny Rockets. <laughs> Hell of a milkshake. Uh no, remember? I don't I don't know if that was nineties. It was nineties. I don't no, know. We weren't fucking with anything like that. Those no. things where, like, you put the... That's a the weapon. Engine. Well, that's what was so that's cool. That's a projectile. That was... So, that's... I didn't care that it was a rocket. I go, I'm going to fucking blast this thing the fuck off. Let's go. The yeah. explosion part was cool to me. I didn't care. There was a, I didn't give a fuck about rockets. And I remember we did something in school. <laughs> you like, weren't in it for the humanity. No, I was in it. I was like, let's fucking torch something, dude. Let's fucking... Let's hit a bird with this thing. <laughs> Uh, uh, it's fucked up. And we did a class. I re- did like a course or a class or like <coughs> it was an after school thing, maybe. What? You fucking nerd. And I got there and it was a bunch of, you know, fucking rocket kids. <laughs> Not me. I was I was odd man out. A bunch of rocket kids. And <laughs> they were like with the stickers and the decal. I was like, dude, fucking I'm going bare bones. <laughs> give me the fucking tube. Give me the dozzle. Give me the engine. Let's fucking... Let's light the candle on this puppy. Somebody draw a skull and bones on this thing yeah. <laughs> and grab the fucking, grab the grill lighter, will you? Yeah, let's fucking go, dude. I got a fuck, I got an orbit to catch. Uh, like a, somebody stuffed a frog inside and let's do this thing. Oh, all right, let's wrap it up. Uh, that's it? Yeah, that's oh, it. Oh, man. I was having a fucking good old time here. Uh, love the family apps. Love so you guys. So much fun. Love everybody. Love the questions. Thank you so much. We will be back next week. Kippy, what do you got for them? Uh, you know, obviously, you guys are the fucking, you know, you're the shit. You know all the plugs, but mm-hmm. iTunes, YouTube, Patreon, and I'm at Kevin Ryan Comedy on all social media. Get us both to 10K. I'm, like, close to 8. Get us to 10 so we can get the fucking swipe up stories. And I can get verified like a fucking gentleman. Yeah, let's keep growing. We love you guys very much. We'll see you at the live shows. Uh, again, added a second show in Atlantic City, June 18th. Make sure you come and see that. If you live in Indianapolis, get some fucking ticks. Come out and see the squad. The live show's fantastic. You've seen the Astro clip. We're going to have a good time. We'll see you there. We love you. Peace. Peace.